A lot of folks really want a stealth van and think that a cargo van is the way to go. However, if you want a van that will completely blend in wherever you park it, what's more invisible than a minivan? I met Aaron from Oasis Camper Vans at the Colorado Tiny House Fest, and they really have their build dialed in. So if you want to DIY a minivan, I'm sure you'll find some good ideas in this video. If you just want to drop off your van and pick up a finished build out, check this out and see if this is what you want. I'm Aaron Friedland and I run Oasis Camper Vans. I'm sitting in an Oasis Camper Van right now, which is in a 2016 Toyota Sienna. Um, so that's the main van that we work on, is the Sienna. We could also do the Odyssey and the Grand Caravan, plus other minivans, but it's cheaper with the Sienna. So it starts at 9,800, and the average price the customer pays once they've put uh, money into the build out and the electronics like the fridge and the battery is about eleven five to twelve thousand five hundred dollars um, and that's not including the van all of our cabinets are made with half inch baltic birch siding and then three quarter inch baltic birch lids the customer gets to choose the face frame that's on each cabinet so we got maple here on this one we also offer walnut and cherry other customizations are the color of the floor, the color of the cushions, and the color of the curtains. So customer gets to choose their preference on all of that. We make small modifications to the layout, but this is generally what we like to stick to. So some of the different add-ons that we offer are that battery there. It's a Jackery Explorer 1000. And what it's doing right now is receiving power not much because we haven't moved the panel in a couple hours but it's getting solar power from a jackery 100 back here and it is supplying power to the dometic refrigerator dometic cfx 28 so we do the build out we build for those appliances and then the customer purchases those appliances delivers them to us so we have the lagoon table in here it's a great little work station if you're traveling and trying to work on the road it can also be used for two people to sit at and eat or play cards when it's raining this seat back here is a memory foam chair really good for somebody who's six foot or so i'm six foot tall so i have a couple inches of headroom here and this van has a dvd player in it so it takes up a little bit more of the headroom but the Sienna LE doesn't have much going on on the ceiling, so it allows for a little bit more headroom. We also do work on the 2021 Sienna, which is a hybrid, and you could get that in all-wheel drive, just like all the rest of the Siennas. Um, that 2021 is a little bit smaller inside, but you're getting 36 miles to the gallon, so it's a decent trade-off for, for the lack of space. Storage in the front, this box, is uh, about nine and a half inches deep, 48 inches wide. This one here is 12 inches deep, 12 inches wide, 32 inches long. Under the mattress, there's a couple more. So this one is 23 inches long, 12 inches deep, and 18 inches wide. Over here, we've got another storage box that is about 18 inches wide, 9 inches deep, and 15 inches wide. The kitchen is also somewhat customizable. We try to make them about this size. We can fit a Coleman stove in here. Right now it's out on our floating table, which is part of the bed platform. This piece here goes in and makes up part of the bed. So the kitchen has a stove down here, soft closed drawers, this folding table, which is on these super sturdy hinges, 12 inch stainless steel sink, and underneath the sink is our gray water. So you got this bucket for gray water, and you just collect it in here and then pitch it when you're somewhere that you can appropriately dump the gray water. 
we've got two gallons of drinking <clears throat> or of uh, potable water back here that are plumbed to the sink. Now this isn't necessarily meant for drinking. <clears throat> we have this five gallon jug here, which is intended to be drinking water. So this water is more for washing your hands, washing your dishes, brushing your teeth. So we've got two gallons plumbed to the hand pump. And everything is in this cabinet that has a folding table that closes down in front of it. All right, so in the minivans, the third row seats are removable. So what we did is we took the third row seats out in here and we cut a hole in the floor underneath the fridge and the water. So if you wanted to store things underneath the kitchen, you could totally do that. Uh, it's just for things that you're not going to need on a super regular basis. So this is a curtain here that um, is made by our wonderful upholsterer Ramona at Originals by Ramona. And it basically fills the whole inner perimeter of this window. And it's the same on the four rear windows in the van. So there's the two little ones in the back. And then there's the sliding doors that have windows as well. Those windows drop down. You got curtains there, and you can also order screens. That's an additional feature, but if you want a little bit of breeze coming through, put the screens there. And these are super easy to use. They just snap off, and then you fold them and roll them up, and then strap them to the side of the window, just like that. And then there's a big divider curtain that goes behind the passenger and driver's seat to kind of cut the sleeping area off from the rest of the van. Cool. First thing you want to do, which we've already done, is make sure that the two seats are moved forward a little bit so that you can remove this big piece of the bed platform. Next step is folding the back of the chair back, removing this cushion, stowing it up front and then we take the bottom of the chair out turn it 90 degrees and set it right in here between the two lids of the cabinets next thing we want to do is remove the this uh, swivel table from the post on the lagoon table so we turn this handle left to loosen it pop it off like that and then this post is tight on there because we were driving so we have to use the ratchet setup here, which is so brilliant. It's a, a great way to quickly release these and then tighten them to where you want them to be when you're, when you're driving. I gotta get that out of there. Uh-oh. There we go. All right. This big piece here goes in and makes up most of the bed platform. And this one is the one that I had outside the van with these mounts on it. So you could screw table legs in here and use this outside the van as a cooking table or another surface while you're preparing food. Drops in there just like that. The swivel table comes in, drops in there, and then you just pull the mattress across and you got your bed set up. Just like that. The back of the chair can come down and give you a little headrest and that's pretty much it that's awesome <laughs> and i'm now standing under this wonderful shade canopy by rhino rack there are crossbars on here that rhino rack makes and sells for different vehicles and then you can get their cargo boxes their awnings roof racks whatever you're looking for you can uh put on top of the van and Rhino Rack is great. It's not the only company that we can install. So Thule, Yakima, whatever you desire to put on top of the van. So we're Oasis Camper Vans and you can find us online at Oasis Camper Vans on Instagram, Oasis Camper Vans on Facebook, www.oasiscampervans.com. Uh, you can email me at team at oasiscampervans.com. Or you could call me, which is probably the quickest way to get in touch, 720-422-4810. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. About how long does it take once, once somebody's decided to do this and has called you? 
Sure. So it takes about two to three weeks, depending on our volume. We've gotten them done faster than that. Uh, we've got one done in three days when we had enough lead time to do a lot of the cabinets. But generally, the customer should expect for their van to be at our shop in Bloomfield, Colorado for between two to three weeks. Kind of what we like to schedule for. Um, right now, it's uh, July 2021, and we have nine openings left for the rest of the year. So we've got space for 2021 if you've got a minivan or you want to get into the van life but don't want to get into something too big um, give us a call and we can try to get you on the schedule in the fall or the winter i want to thank aaron for sharing his client's van with us i think they've done a great job coming up with something that is going to work for a lot of folks if you know someone looking for simple inexpensive ideas for a van build please share this video with them and if you'd like to see more van and rig tours, van life tips, and recipes, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I appreciate your thoughtful comments, and if you'd like to join in deeper conversation, I invite you to join our Facebook group, Gal Adventurers. This is Joni with the Galavan. Enjoy your journey.